Hello, everyone. As you can tell, my voice is still gone because, of course, it is. It's just about time to start doing live episodes again. And, of course, my voice went away. But for anybody who's listening to the NaNoWriMo updates I've been posting on Friday, you were already aware of this. It was so bad, I actually had to have one of the uh, updates read by my computer. But I'm feeling better. My voice is getting stronger. And we had a crazy month of November. And so on today's episode of Project Shadow, I would kind of like to just talk about what all happened this month and kind of set a course going forward. What do you think about that? Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Charlie, you might know me better as sci-fi fantasy writer C.E. Dorset, especially if you're reading my latest book, Crucify My Love. Alright, um, I am sorry about my voice, I really am, I was hoping it would get better, I pushed and pushed and pushed off getting started recording again, hoping my voice would not be as poply crackly, it's probably more annoying to me than it is to you, because my voice is a constant source of my dysphoric feelings. But hey, it's coming back and we will get at it eventually. Alrighty, but before we get into the episode proper, if you haven't already, please do take a moment to rate this podcast in whatever app you're listening to me on. It really does help out a lot. It tells the algorithm to share the podcast with more people. The more people that listen, the bigger the community, the bigger the community, the better the chance we have of actually communicating with each other. And after all, that's why I do this in the first place. I would just like to say thank you to everyone who has already done that. Alrighty. So, NaNoWriMo has come and gone, and it was a crazy, crazy month filled with health scares in the family. Brian got sick. I got sick. Just nightmare reality trying its best to force itself into our lives because of course it is <sighs> but yeah we made it through we made it all the way through at the time of recording this episode i have not finished glorify my name yet but i did win nanorimo which makes me very very happy I actually got to 50,000 words before Thanksgiving this year, which is a first for me. Usually I don't get there until, you know, today, well, the 30th. Because the 30th is usually when I hit my 50K. Because, you know, November, I get sick every November. I know it's going to happen, and I prepare for it. But luckily, this year I had pre-recorded episodes of the podcast so you didn't have to suffer through what would currently be I think two weeks of me having this voice and much much worse so yeah I enjoyed writing this book more than I think any other book I've ever written and I I, I know it sounds like I say that about every book that I work on and it doesn't eclipse the joy I had when I wrote Crucify. It doesn't. But it, I've, this is the third book that I've done with these characters. And I know them so well and I'm so comfortable with them that I'm kind of sad that y'all want me to run off and do a sci-fi story because I just kind of want to write more in this world. But I have an uh, We'll see what happens in the future, but I'm probably going to be doing a sci-fi next. But it was so fun to go into their lives and to see things that were set up in previous the previous two books pay off in this one. And I don't know, it just it made me so happy to get the series technically done. I originally envisioned the mask of the gods to be a three-part 
series. And while the main bit is done, I will, I really want to go back. If I could, if I have a story that I want to tell that I think will do justice to his characters, I, I will be back. But that leads me to thinking of the future. And I think all of us who participated in NaNoWriMo this year are really acutely aware of what we're wanting to do going forward and how we're wanting to accomplish our goals in the year to come. And one of the things that I know for a fact that I'm going to be doing is this, when I start edits, I'm actually going to do an additional pass over Crucify My Love. And it's not because I think I need to add anything really to it. It's more my voice as an author has changed throughout this process. My writing style has evolved. And I really do. I'm really so thankful to the series because I think it I feel so ironic saying this when my voice is so weak, but um, I think this is the series that really f- showed me who I am as a writer and how I want to tell stories going forward. And since my voice as a writer has in- evolved through this process, I just kind of want to go back over Crucify and make sure that the vo- voicing is consistent between the three books because it kind of, it took me, it took me longer than I thought to write these books took three years for me to write all three of them. And there was a lot of growth and change and development in me as a person and in how I actually construct narrative and how I tell a story, how I do point of view and other things. So I just want all three books to feel like they were written by the same writer because they are all in the same series. So I am going to go back and I'm going to look over. I don't know if I'm going to end up changing anything because the difference in writing style may not be as obvious or acute as I think it is, but that's definitely going to be what I am going to do going forward. And I'm so grateful to everybody who helped me keep my spirits up through this process because, you know, I say it all the time. You all are the best audience that I could ever have. And quite a few of you are French now. And hello, bonjour. I don't speak French, but maybe I should because you make up like 15% of my audience now from France. And that's amazing. Because I'm just sitting here in America's heartland and talking to people all over the world. And I just never thought that that would be a thing that someone like me would get to do. I mean, it just, it really does warm my heart. And it means so much to me that so many of you are coming along on the ride with me and following this process that I'm going through to get these books written and in doing this podcast and everything. I mean, I know I kind of already did a Thanksgiving episode on Thanksgiving, but it was more about how Thanksgiving needs a reboot than what it I'm feeling right now. I mean, I'm so grateful for all of you and I don't want to just butter your biscuits, but you know, I just felt like it needed to be said because the last month was really, difficult for a lot of reasons and i don't know there was just something about those of you who kept in touch and who were asking questions and sharing things with me and i want to give a special shout out to art plant on twitter who really did help make me feel less alone cuz i don't know i had some moments last month where I think it was because I wasn't recording episodes on a daily basis where I felt really disconnected from all of you. And I was spending so much time writing and dealing with other stuff that I I, I just really started feeling alone and isolated. And it was wonderful to have, to know that people cared. Because, 
you know, it's not, I mean, it's, I'm not going to say like my life's hard or, you know, what we're doing is hard. What I'm doing is hard in that sense. Cause you know, I get to play with my imaginary friends all day and I get to record these episodes and talk to you all. And, you know, there's some challenge there, but it's not like, it's, you know, hard, but it does make a difference when you live in a place that is so indifferent to you that is constantly working to classify people like yourself as less than human to have anyone paying attention and caring about what's going on it really thank you i mean i can't say thank you enough so as i continue doing what i'm doing and working towards getting the mask of the god series finished and out there to you i'm also going to be doubling down on the work that i'm doing over on world anvil and i'm really excited about that I love doing the world building and the con laying and everything. And I love having a place where I can share all of that with you all. And it's exciting to see how some of you are getting interested in that as well. One of the things that I'm really kind of excited about is they allow you to tie your world building to a gaming system. So for simplicity's sake, and because I think it's kind of a fun system to play in, I am going to be adding the necessary modules and stuff to it so that once the world building is up over there it will also be playable as a cypher system game and i'm really kind of excited about that because i think cypher is a good way to deal with the types of stories that i tell and i love its focus on the storytelling aspect of gameplay so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to be putting them up as I go through and do the writing going forward, the world building writing going forward, and I will touch up any articles that are already there and make sure that that information's there. But I'm very excited about that, and I'm hoping to have that done soonish. We'll see. It's going to be an ever... See, done is such a hard concept with this because world building is a never-ending process and i'm still probably going to be writing articles at when book three comes out but i'm very excited to do that and i'm hoping that you all enjoy that as well um yeah i i feel weird doing this podcast now because you know i've been recording the updates daily on the phone and i haven't really had the time to just sit and chat with you all for a while and don't worry i'm going to get back to doing regular episodes tomorrow so they're not all going to be like this it's just a lot of stuff has been going on and i wanted to let you all know about it um a lot of the rework of the patreon has been finished so i'm excited about that um hopefully you will find stuff there that is to your liking as always if there aren't the kinds of rewards that you're interested in contact me let me know because you know with everything being as hard as it is right now it warms my heart that thanks to you all who listen to the podcast who buy my books and who support me on patreon that i can make some extra money and this really i really need to be making more <laughs> This isn't like a push for like money or anything. It's just that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on. And I would love your ideas for because I'm going to be doing more advertising for the books this year and for the podcast. And those really aren't my strong suit. So any thing that you all have to offer that would help get the word out about what we're doing, what I'm doing would be really helpful and yeah hopefully i'll be able to get that all worked out and really grow everything next year which is my hope and that may actually include oh, i can't believe i'm saying this a youtube channel but we will talk about that in a minute because oh.
So yeah, I did say that I was thinking about doing a YouTube channel. I I am. Um, and it's not something new. I have one. Um, I've tried several times to do it. I, I don't know what it is. I don't like making video. I don't like having my face on video. I don't like recording videos. I don't like editing videos. But every year in November, I get this stupid idea in my head that I should have a YouTube channel. And it annoys me to no end that I think that because, well, I don't want to do a YouTube channel, but I do. So what I'm going to be doing, and you'll find links for this on the website over at projectshadow.com and over on my Twitter, because I'll be sharing them out. I have decided to do some kind of a version of Vlogmas um, in that I'm going to try to upload a video every day over there. Now, I know what you're thinking, Charlie, you already do a daily podcast. Why are you doing daily videos on YouTube? It's because I want to settle this argument in my head once and for all. And it takes, you know, what is it? 21 days to start a habit. So my logic there is, and these are going to be like vlog type things. Like they're not going to be like video, video type things. And my goal here isn't actually like, I need to get this big of an audience by the end of the month or anything like that. It's more, if I can, I, I have learned that the things that I want to do, that I really want to be doing, if I set my mind to it and say, I'm going to do this every day, I will do it every day. I see that with the podcast. I see that with the writing. I see that with the editing. I see that with the art stuff that I've been doing. If I set my mind to it and I really do want to do it and I tell myself to do it, I will do it. So this is kind of me trying to fight through that illusion and find out if it's real or not. And if it is real and I do make it all the way through the month and want to continue doing it, I'm going to go to weekly videos for it, but I'm probably a bit more thought out, but so that's the goal with that. And we'll see. I mean, I'm going to be doing an author tube channel. So anybody who's thinking that, you know, I'm going to be just doing something else. No, I'm going to be doing an author tube channel. And I'm also probably going to be moving a lot of my writer stuff, not necessarily from this podcast over there, because, you know, it'll always be a part of this podcast because I'm a writer at heart. But, you know, I get so much more feedback when I'm talking about TV shows, movies, books, music, things of that nature. I'm going to try to do much more of that on this podcast. And should that work over there, do more of the author tube, author, you know, writings, discussion stuff over there. So we'll, we'll see how it all works out. But that's at least where my mind is right now, because I've already gotten like a backlog of questions. Like, what did I think of Watchmen? I'm loving it. I wish more people were watching it. I don't have a lot of people to talk to about it with because a lot of people aren't watching it. It's amazing. If you haven't watched it yet, get caught up because I'm going to be doing talks about that. Season two of Teen Titans turned out to be really good. So I will definitely be talking about that soon. As of the recording of this, the first episode of the new animated Harley Quinn series on DC Universe is up and it is so funny and so good. Oh man, I have not laughed that hard and I don't know how long. I'm so excited for that show. Definitely going to be talking about that. I am enjoying his dark materials. I'm actually enjoying it in a way more than I did the books because it's been so long since I've read them and I don't, I've got so many books I want to read. I'm not going to go back and reread them. So I apologize for that. I probably won't be doing a lot of book to screen discussion, but I'm sure a lot of people are doing that. But my, for when I read the books initially, I had a very diminishing return. I liked the Golden Compass. It was okay with, what was it, the Silver Spyglass, I think. And I can't even remember the name of the third book. And I didn't really care for the third book. And the show is very different from what I remember the book being. 
though it has many of the same beats as the book. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's able to keep my attention and keep me enjoying it throughout the process. But we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be talking about His Dark Materials because I've been really enjoying that. And yeah, do you th think I wasn't going to mention it? Yeah, The Mandalorian, I'm definitely going to be talking about. So for everybody who's been asking about all of those and other things, yeah, the, the, I'm going to be talking about all that coming up in the not too distant future. So don't worry about that. I'm also getting caught up on the Dragon Prince and She-Ra and all that good stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you about going forward. But I also would like to ask what you all would like for the videos, because as you know, I generally pre-record videos. See, I'm already thinking YouTube. What you would like for the podcasts from Christmas to New Year's, because I usually pre-record those every year if I don't let the podcast go dark. And we're going to do the traditional top music tracks this year, like we've been doing, because... It's not subjective. I can just load up a playlist of everything that's in my library that came out last year and sort it by plays and actually tell you what my top tracks were from last year. And then we talk about it. I didn't really watch a lot of movies this year. Well, I did, but I didn't. That, that, that's weird. Um, and I didn't read as many books this year as I wanted to. So I'm probably not going to do a top movie or top book this year. Um, and I'm kind of curious what you would like those year end specials to be about. Because, you know, this podcast is for you after all. And I have some ideas, but I would love to know what you guys are thinking about. So I thank you so very much for indulging me as I discuss kind of where I am and what things are going to look like going forward, kind of a state of the union podcast, which by the way, I probably still will do one of those in um, January. I kind of like starting the year with setting goals and talking about that. So look forward to that, but you all just mean the world to me. And I'm so glad to be back to doing this and hopefully my voice will join us on the podcast tomorrow. Until then, if you haven't already, please do take a moment to rate this podcast in whatever app you're listening to me on. It really does help out a lot. If you have any questions, comments, or topics you'd like to hear discussed on the show, you can use the voice message system, which you can find a link to in the show notes. You can also hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'm C. Dorset on both. I also have Facebook. You can find links to everything over at projectshadow.com. If you have a dollar you can pass my way it really does help out a lot you'll find a link in the show notes to my patreon and to the community um listener support tab that money really does go to keeping everything that i'm doing getting done and it means the world to me everybody who does that if you don't have any money right now or you don't feel like giving that's perfectly all right but if you know somebody you think would like this podcast, do share it with them. That helps out immensely as well. Um, I think that's it. It's been a while since I've done this <laughs> live like this. So until next time, don't forget, have the fun. Bye. <laughs>